I don't go in meeting rooms with these guys, and I can't tell you what's going through their mind. I can't tell you where they're at uh, from a mental perspective. I can't break all of that stuff down. I can tell you what I see on Sundays, and all you see with Mitch is a lack of consistency. You see big moments. You see big throws. You see big plays where you go, man, bottle that up, and we're, we're going to be just fine. And then you see other times where you're like, don't really know what he's doing. And for any quarterback, that becomes the, the goal is, how do I develop into a consistent quarterback that it's more upside than it's downside? How long should they wait for that? Well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I came out of college, starting one year in college. And as we know, I bounced around, but I didn't become the quarterback I was till I was 28, you know, 28 years old. And I had to play a lot of football and it wasn't in the NFL, but I played a lot of football in that time to learn how to play quarterback. And so, and what's that, five, six years before I became that guy? Now, yeah, you can sit and go, well, if you got the shot when you first got out of college, maybe you would have been that guy then. Maybe I would have been that guy in year three. I have no idea. But we see examples of that where guys don't really come into their own. Drew Brees is another example that, you know, wasn't necessarily great, didn't win his first playoff game, I think, till fifth or sixth year. Uh, Tom Brady. When Tom Brady played in the Super Bowl against us in his second year, he was the last person on the team we were talking about. Right? I mean, he threw like one touchdown pass in the entire playoffs. In our game, he threw for 150. I mean, he wasn't this Tom Brady. He got the ability to win a Super Bowl and have success and be with a great defensive coach and all this. And he, and he grew into what he is now. So I don't know what the learning curve is. I mean, then we look at Patrick Mahomes and you go, oh, gee, should be like that, right? Because you passed up Patrick to take him. He should be like that. The Sean Watsons had some great success early on even though not necessarily great playoffs. But, and so I just don't know how you measure that. There's just so much to that in knowing the player, being around the player uh, every day, where you see growth, and, and then you have to believe or you know, put your faith in, do you think he can get there? If you've been around him for three years now and you're at that point where you're going, we don't, we don't see it then maybe, yeah, I think you would be doing yourself a disservice if you don't think he will be your guy. Or, or even just, I'm not sure if he's my guy. Um, then, yeah, I think you'd be doing yourself a disservice to make your team better or even get a guy in around him that can help him go to the next level. Um, but it's just too hard to answer that question simply based on watching film and, and not knowing the big picture. But that's a million-dollar question, right? Because... Some guys can do that and they can become that guy very quickly. Other guys, it takes a lot longer and other guys never get there. So, you know, but there's no timetable on how this works. Oh, it's year three. You should know by now. It doesn't always work that way. What's up, sports fans? Breon Page here with Fanatics View. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more content, subscribe down below.